The 40 Martyrs of Sebaste, right, S-E-B-A-S-T-E, -E, were martyrs of Armenia. When Constantine uh, decreed the liberty of the church, or the, you might say the legality of Christianity, right, uh, he uh, actually uh, ended effectively the, the persecution of the empire against the Christians in the West. Uh, it, would be, it would revive for a brief time under Julian the Apostate in about the year 360. But uh, essentially, Christianity became legal only when the Emperor Constantine uh, decreed in 313 the Edict of Milan uh, bestowing legality upon the uh, faith in Christ. But uh, Constantine decided to uh, uh, divide the rule of the empire between himself and a man, Licinius. Licinius was the emperor of the East. Uh, you, might, you might call him actually a Caesar of the emperor Constantine, but regardless, Licinius actually um, continued the persecution of Christians in the eastern part of the empire which included Armenia, uh, within which was the city of Sebaste. And there were some famous martyrs who gave their lives after Constantine legalized Christianity in the year 313. For example, St. Blaise, St. Blaise whose feast day is on February 3rd, and of course we know him very well for the blessing of throats in honor of St. Blaise on uh, February 3rd. Uh, St. Blaise was the Bishop of Sebast, okay? And uh, the 40 martyrs also um, were martyred after the Christianity was made legal by, Christ, uh, by Constantine in the West. Uh, these were 40 soldiers who were condemned to die, and uh, they were condemned to die by being frozen to death. They were stripped and uh, ordered to lay down on the surface of a frozen lake. They would spend the night there. Uh, by morning, they would all be dead except one, actually, the youngest of them all. In the course of the night, one of them weakened, and he sought relief in a kind of tepid bath that had been set up as a temptation. Uh, on the shore of the lake. He crawled over there and tried to climb in, and no sooner did he succeed than he expired. He died. But uh, the soldiers, one of them who was awake anyway, witnessing this event, saw 40 angels uh, come down upon the lake, and uh, they were carrying crowns. Uh, one for each of the martyrs, but uh, of course one of them had weakened and was not there to claim it. So he decided that he, he would claim that crown. There on the spot, he stripped off his armor and all the rest and went out onto that ice and lay down and joined the martyrs there, and he was the one who claimed that 40th crown that night. Uh, the youngest of them was still still barely clinging to life, and uh, I think his name was Meliton. He uh, he was only a teenager; he was about sixteen, seventeen years old. And when the soldiers were loading up the corpses, the frozen corpses of the of the others, into a cart to cart it away, uh, they were leaving Meliton there. They were leaving him, hoping that he would weaken. But uh, the boy's mother actually went out of the ice and, and actually dragged him across the ice and uh, with all of her strength lifted him onto the cart with the rest because she didn't want him to, uh, she didn't want him to weaken. She wanted him to have the crown of martyrdom. They had great faith, you know. <clears throat> and Melaton did expire in that cart on the way uh, for the cremation of their bodies. So these 40 martyrs uh, were great witnesses of the faith. That's what the name martyr means, we're actually a witness to the truth of the faith of Christ.